Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and uh, what's in front of you is not the 117, it's actually a mock-up of the F-16, which I thought was pretty cool. I worked really hard to get it just the way it is. It's not exactly perfect, but damn if it ain't close. But uh, let's go ahead and play around with what I got right now, and then uh, we'll talk about different options for the 117. And all I gotta do is hit that. And we are off. He needs to pull up. He needs to pull up like right now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. That was so close. What's he doing? Taking his time? Oh, there it goes. Fox 1. Fox 2. Oh, this doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Oh no, no. Oh my gosh, he missled himself. You lucky, lucky dog. Man, how many missiles is he going to throw at him? Son of a gun. I think he unloaded everything. Whoa, there goes one. Oh no, you have one more. Where were you hiding that? Oh. Oh, I'm going to call that one Houdini. I didn't even see that missile. Did you guys see a missile? I didn't see a missile. I went ahead. I took out the actual. Um, I took out the the uh, control board that was in here because I figured maybe maybe the flat piece of metal holding all the screens and stuff was would you know hinder it. We're only at Mach one, just barely Mach one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the ejection system because some of you guys have said that having the air brake backwards, even if it's in its closed position, let's check. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jettison this part and see if it speeds us up a little bit. In three, two, one, spacebar. Get out of there. It's definitely a lot faster and we're still going. Son of a biscuit. You know what that means? That means that having a backwards that means having a cockpit hatch that opens up backwards creates so much drag that it's actually hindering the the ability of the craft, which really sucks because I like having, you know, a cockpit that opens up the way it's supposed to open up. I guess it could open up forward, but see, that would mess me up because of the fact that in order for these to match up, to line up, they have to, one has to be one direction, one has to be the other direction. Let's try the second, the second idea, and that is to put everything inside of a um, fairing. Alright, that, that's gonna have to do. It's not as... the acceleration isn't as fast as the drone. And, um... You know what, that's... That's to be expected. Mach 2, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've found... I think we've found it. Awesome. The only problem is, is that we won't, we, we won't have that cool little cockpit effect. Which is something I really, really liked. So let's go ahead and try to slow down here a little bit. Not too much, not too much, not too much, not too much. Yeah, very good. That was pretty good. Alright, now we're going to test the ejection system in 3, 2, 1. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> oh boy, his helmet's slowly filling up with poo. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we're going to have to work on that as well. But I am all out of time, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much. Uh, hopefully in the next one we will arm it and get the ejection system figured out. Maybe I'll just put the whole thing in confetti instead of two parts. Or maybe three parts. Maybe three parts will make it smaller. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Veos, signing off.